Before we begin, it's important to note that this presentation is not intended to provide specific legal advice. Information on this slide is current as of February 2024. This PowerPoint may not be reproduced, distributed, copied, or cited in whole or in part without written permission. For more information, please feel free to visit our website at www.coasttocoastlegalaid.org or call 954-736-2400. We will now begin our presentation. Today's focus will be on excess medical expense deductions for food assistance benefits. Before we begin, it's important to mention how DCF or Department of Children's and Families determines the monthly food assistance benefit. DCF uses your income, shelter expenses such as rent, mortgage, property taxes, homeowners insurance, utilities, and any medical expense you pay out of pocket for in excess of $35. That's how, what they use to calculate the monthly food assistance benefits. So the elderly age 60 and older and the disabled can maximize the monthly amount of food assistance if they have unreimbursed medical expenses. This is any medical expense you pay out of pocket for in excess of $35 that is not covered by insurance as it relates to your age and or disability. The DCF has to take these expenses into consideration when making their calculations. And you want to report these out of pocket expenses to DCF directly. So what are the different types of reportable medical expenses? Any medical expense related to health care, and we, we list a few examples for you here. Dentist, doctor, hospital clinic visits, nurse, nursing home health care expense, health insurance, any co-pays, deductibles, premiums, including your Medicare premiums. Basically, on your, medic, your prescription medicine, is any out-of-pocket cost not covered by your copay or your insurance. Additional types of reportable medical expenses are transportation and lodging. Things like taking an Uber, a bus, a taxi to and from your uh, doctor's visit, the cost of the bus, the taxi, the Uber, all of that can be used as a medical deduction, the hotel room, the cost of the hotel room, if you have to, had to spend the night, mileage for the car that you use to go to and from the doctor's office, any homemaker attendant aid, childcare or housekeeping services. But these must be services you need because of your age, ailment, or disability. And any kind of mis miscellaneous health supplies like dentures, hearing aids, uh, oxygen prosthetics, including batteries for your hearing aids, denture cleaning supplies, uh, humidifier, medical alert device, etc. Basically, if you are not sure if it's a medical expense or will be deducted, go ahead and report it and let DCF make Additional Reportable medical expenses are any kind of prescribed over-the-counter medicines. If your doctor wants you to take extra vitamins, your doctor wants you to use special ointments or non-food supplements, as long as it's authorized or prescribed by your practitioner, you can report it as medical expense. However, typically you need to get a letter from the doctor or a practitioner saying these things are medically necessary and submit that with your expense list or receipts. Medical supplies, eyeglasses, again, oxygen walkers, canes, any kind of equipment you use for your ailment or your disability or as a result of your age. Service animal, 
expenses, pretty self-explanatory, but one thing that is very important is that you need to be able to provide DCF with proof that that animal has been spe specially trained to be a service animal, be a support animal. Um, you can't just say, I have a support animal and I'm submitting all my expenses for that animal. They're going to want to see proof that it is, in fact, a service animal and or a support animal. So typically a lot of people ask how many of my medical expenses will be deducted. Anything over $35 will be deducted as long as you can provide a receipt, as long as DCF can clearly see that it is necessary for your age your, or, and or your disability. If you haven't paid a medical bill, can that be deducted? Absolutely. You can deduct or report medical bills that you've incurred but haven't yet paid for, but the interest cannot be deducted. And the biggest question is, does DCF ask for verification of my medical expenses? Usually, yes. The, the simple answer is yes. They may, may ask for proof of expenses. Um, I don't know of an occasion where they didn't. So keep your receipts, your bills, and provide DCF with copies of those. And keep copies of everything that you submit to DCF. So how do you report these, these medical deductions? You can do it in several ways. You can go online to your access account for those of you that have an access account. And you can upload the documents there. You can report the medical expenses there. Um, you can report them on your recertification application or if you're doing a new application, report it on the application as well. You can fax the documents to DCF, but you would need to call the DCF Customer Service Center at 850-300-4323 and ask them for the fax number where you can submit these medical expenses. You can mail them in, although I don't recommend that. If, but if that's the only way you have to get them in, call DCF at the customer service number or the service center at the number I just listed and get a copy or request an address where to mail the expenses to or where is the closest, ask them where the closest customer service location is near you and physically walk the documents into the, the service center. If you're going to provide, go to DCF and provide the documents in person, make sure you have a copy of what you're giving them and ask DCF if they can stamp your copy to show that you were in their office and submitted these documents. Very highly recommend that you either do it through access or the facts because that way you'll have proof through the computer, through the fax confirmation sheet that you submitted these and reported these medical expenses. If you have to go in person, getting a cop, having a copy stamped by them or something that shows that you brought this, you know, the, these medical expenses into them, very important. Mail, I don't recommend if it gets lost in the mail. You have no way of proving that you mailed it to them that they received it. Um, so I, I highly recommend that you try to do it either on your access account or fax it so you can get a copy of the fax confirmation to show, actually show that they received it in their office. So one of the biggest things that you need to remember, keep copies of everything you submit to DCF. If you're not sure if medical expense can be deducted, contact DCF to find out or just submit it. Worst case scenario, they say no. It's, no, this isn't something we would count as a medical expense. Now you know. You can report your medical expenses over a one-year period, but if it's a one-time expense, you can either report it for that month or you can average the expense over that one-year period. Again, if your doctor prescribes something over the counter that is medically necessary for you to take, have them write a note 
of the doctor or the practitioner read a note stating these items, these over-the-counter items are medically necessary and then submit a copy of that letter to DCF along with the receipts for those items purchased. We want to give a shout out to Legal Services and thank them. Thank Legal Services Corporation for some of the information contained in this PowerPoint. It's information they provided us during a training that we find very valuable and we think that you, our clients, will also find them very valuable. Um, so we wanted to give them a special thanks for providing us with that information and enabling us to share it with you today. When do you call host to host? And when do you call Department of Children's and Families? So, so with regards to your food sip. So if you want to report your medical expenses, you contact DCF. If you need to recertify or have questions regarding your certification or regarding the benefits, or want to know if they received your recertification, contact DCF at 850-300-4323. You can contact Coastal Coast Legal Aid if your benefits have been denied, if you don't think your expenses were deducted, if you think the amount that you're receiving is wrong, um, you can contact our centralized intake at 954-736-2400 and they'll let you know if it's something that we can assist or not. Finally, this is an overview of everything, or rather every issue that we assist with at our firm. If your item is not on the list, you're welcome again to call our centralized intake unit at 954-735-2400, actually 736-2400. And the intake personnel will be able to tell you if it's something we can assist with or not. We would love it if you would follow us on social media. And please like and follow us on Facebook and YouTube at Coast of Coast Legal Aid. We appreciate you taking the time to watch this presentation and tune in Thursdays at noon for more legal learning. Thank you.